It's full speed ahead for the RISE program in 2024. It's a period of innovation, unlike anything G Aerospace has seen before, says Aryan Hegerman, General Manager of Advanced Technology for G Aerospace. Developed from potential design ideas, RISE's technologies promise to change the game and to be able to implement those ideas on paper into an engine that can perform well, the manufacturer is entering a phase of accelerating the speed of testing. So how will this engine create a boom in the industry? Let's find out in today's episode. But before we start, if you're new, please leave a like and subscribe to help us build this channel. And you'll also be the first to see our new content in the future. Now, let's dive in launched in 2021 by CFM International, a 50-50 joint venture between G Aerospace and Safran Aircraft Engines, the RISE program is advancing flight support technologies that aim to achieve fuel savings of more than 20% with carbon emissions are 20% lower than current commercial engines. It's a formidable challenge and one that's critical to meeting the aviation industry's long-term climate goal of net zero carbon emissions for commercial flights by 2050. To date, more than 100 the test has been completed. Thanks to this rapid progress, CFM is on track to conduct ground and flight tests by mid-decade. To test the integration of the airframe with open fan architecture, Airbus previously announced plans to demonstrate open fan flight technology in the mid-2020s. Since we launched the RISE program, we made significant progress to validate the conceptual design review and launched the industrialization of the first demonstrator parts. The RISE program is a great opportunity for our engineers to play a key role in building a more sustainable aviation industry, said Michel Briud, Vice President Engineering and R&T at Safran Aircraft Engines. Muhammad Ali, Vice President of Engineering at GE Aerospace, also expressed his view that the industry cannot achieve its 2050 net zero ambition by relying solely on designs that emphasize fuel efficiency. Revolutionary technology is urgently needed. That's why now is the time for OpenFan, an advanced motor architecture that could unlock the biggest generational leap in motor performance that CFM has ever achieved. And this is backed by the most comprehensive testing roadmap to demonstrate and perfect these technologies. Tests on the program's next generation, high pressure turbine, were conducted recently on a demonstration engine at GE Aerospace headquarters in Avondale, Ohio. The company has confirmed that it can deliver significant improvements in fuel efficiency and increased durability. It represents a generation-changing innovation in our turbine component cooling technology, said Hegeman. This technology will be useful in the compact core that G Aerospace is developing for the RISE program through NASA's Hybrid Thermally Efficient Core, or HITECH program. The program has so far focused on advanced aerodynamics of high-pressure compressors and high-pressure turbines, along with research work on combustors. GE Aerospace is also collaborating with NASA and Boeing on the U.S. Space Agency's Electrified Powertrain Flight Demonstration Program, which seeks to demonstrate the feasibility of hybrid electric flight for commercial aircraft. In 2022, in partnership with NASA, the company was the first to test a multi-kilovolt, megawatt-class hybrid power system in simulated altitude conditions up to 45,000 feet. Hybrid electric systems continue to be tested this year at GE Aerospace's Epis Center facility at the University of Dayton. Rise of program technologies are also being developed to be compatible with alternative energy sources. To date, GE Aerospace and its joint ventures have tested 10 different aircraft engine models using 100% Sustainable Aviation Fuel, SAF, to evaluate engine performance as well as the impact of 100% SAF on with smoke trails and exhaust fumes. Meanwhile, testing of the program's highly anticipated open fan motor architecture continues. In Modane, France in January, the Safran Aircraft Engine Company and the Onera Aerospace Research Center has begun wind tunnel testing of a one to five scale replica of the ductless engine prototype. Speaking to journalists in February before the Singapore Air Show, Pierre Cotenceau, Safran's Vice President of Engineering, Research and Technology, said about two thirds of the 200 hours of aerodynamic and acoustic testing, the first course has been completed. Generally, we are very happy with the results, he added. Although the CFM Rise engine is a new design, its roots go back a long time. 
The engine industry has studied and demonstrated open fan architecture concepts for more than four decades. One of the best examples is the GE36 unducted fan, or UDF for short, on which Safran, Snecma the time, was also a development partner. The GE36 was initially flight tested on a Boeing 727 in 1986 and later flew to the 1988 Farnborough Air Show mounted on a McDonnell Douglas MD-80. The initial drive to develop the concept came from a concern over very high fuel prices in the late 1970s and early 1980s. Projections at the time were for more than five US dollars per gallon, the equivalent of $16.80 today. The GE36 was never introduced into commercial service primarily because oil prices fell substantially and customer interest waned as a result. There was also a second challenge. The technology was not advanced enough to achieve acceptable noise levels. However, many key technologies demonstrated with the UDF found their way onto new programs. The composite fan blade on the G90, for example. Since the 1980s, <laughs> The industry has continued to develop the open fan architecture and has identified new technologies that are resulting in the improved efficiency, lower emissions, and lower noise we can achieve today. More recently, 2017, Safran aircraft engines ran a counter-rotating open rotor engine through a European Clean Sky initiative to develop sustainable engines. GE's Avio Aero was a key partner in this demonstration program. The Sage 2 open rotor demonstrator engine, which ran at Safran test facilities in Estrus, included two counter-rotating unshrouded fans. The engine achieved a double-digit improvement in fuel consumption and carbon dioxide emissions compared to today's most efficient power plants, as well as comparable noise levels. This test also demonstrated key technologies like multivariable power control, a pitch actuation system advanced power gearbox integration. The RISE program will use this experience and incorporate lessons learned into its future engine, regardless the architecture. Significant investments are being made to support the development of advanced foundational technologies, and CFM has established a comprehensive roadmap with more than 300 separate component, module, and full engine builds to test and mature technologies. Several rig tests have already been completed with promising results. CFM is on track for a full demonstrator engine ground test and flight test by the mid-2020s. The foundational technologies developed as part of this demonstration program can be incorporated into any type of architecture and will form the basis of any future CFM engine. They aim at further optimizing propulsive and thermal efficiencies, as well as integrate advanced systems. They continued to advance the state of the art with carbon fiber composite fan technology since the GE 91st entered service in 1995. The RISE program will benefit from more than 140 million flight hours of experience with composite fan blades on the GE90, GENX, LEAP, and GE9X engine programs that all feature lightweight, highly efficient, and durable fan blades. These are the only carbon fiber blades in commercial service. These composite blades do not require a life limit. You may not know, but the aviation industry was responsible for 915 million tons of carbon dioxide in 2019. Although it only accounts for 2% of total human-made carbon dioxide emissions, aviation is a fast-growing mode of transportation. Especially with the current large growth in aircraft traffic, emissions will certainly be even greater in the future. The International Air Transport Association, along with other industry partners, recognizes the need to address the global challenge of climate change and has adopted the following targets to reduce carbon dioxide emissions from air transport. CFM has a clear ambition to achieve a step change in engine technology to address the longer term sustainability of the industry. They also have a credible pathway to achieving that. Regardless of the path that aircraft manufacturers may take, the CFM RISE program will demonstrate the foundational technology to address aircraft requirements and the development timeline. 